Is toxic Bitcoin maximalism, does that drive away people? If it does, is it good? Is it bad? What are your thoughts on that? Look, the way that I see it, it's, it's necessary, right? And why do I mean it's necessary? Like, let's look back in the last three months what happened, right? We had Charlie Munger, who had the audacity to call Bitcoin disgusting, and he said it was the wrong step for human civilization. Meanwhile, I'm talking to Venezuelans that are buying Bitcoin, not like we buy Bitcoin here in the West for number, up, number go up technology. They're buying it to survive, right? Then you have Marathon or Maripool, right? That recently, you know, because of the toxicity of Bitcoin maximalists, right? I think, you know, I think we played a role in them changing their course, right? Because essentially what they were doing is attacking Bitcoin with their clean blocks and OFAC compliant blocks, and they weren't signaling for Taproot. So I believe that if toxicity wasn't a thing, there would be no pressure on them. And last but not least, of course, there's Elon, right? Who goes to his millions of followers and just tells them Doge. And remember, these people, they don't have any experience. So he's like funneling him the right direction. And you just check out every single one of Elon's tweets. And man, you just see a bunch of Bitcoiners going at him. And there's no other way, right? So not only do I think Bitcoin toxicity is important, I think it's absolutely necessary. And if you're against Bitcoin toxicity, you're against Bitcoin, and if you're against Bitcoin, you're against freedom, period. <laughs>